Hello and welcome to this DELSIS tutorial on how to determine the activation timing of the EMG bursts in your data. This tutorial will cover when and why to use the activation timing analysis, the preparatory steps to acquire the data, and then how to analyze the data within EMG Works analysis. To start, it is always important to know when and why to use a specific analysis technique. Activation timing analyses are a commonly used tool within many applications for quantifying when a muscle is on and off to determine the sequencing of the action or task. Performing analysis on multiple muscles can provide insights into co-contraction, performance of a complex movement, or provide a greater understanding about synergies or muscular imbalances. So having gone through when and why to perform an activation timing analysis, it is now time to record some data. This recorded data can then be used for our analysis. This calculation is appropriate for a number of different applications, but today we are going to look at the onset and offset of muscle timing during gait. We can attach multiple EMG sensors to the muscles that are active during this gait cycle to give us information on their onset and offset timings and the sequencing of their activation. This child data should then be saved for future analysis. For more information on collecting MVC trials and normalizing the data, please watch our Amplitude Analysis tutorial. The data is now ready to be added into EMG Works Analysis to perform the activation timing analysis. To begin your analysis session, open EMG Works Analysis from the desktop. Create a new workspace to save your threshold calculations and data. Add in your previously collected data trials to the data window. To perform this calculation, navigate to the data window and left-click the trial you wish to analyze. Multiple trials can be selected by holding Control and left-clicking on additional trials. Make sure that all data series selected are of the same type. Right-click on the selected trials and navigate to Calculation Scripts, selecting EMG Threshold from the available options. A parameter window will now appear. This function will calculate the RMS of the EMG data, and the baseline estimation of the data will return a square wave to denote the threshold for when the muscle can be classified as being on or off. There are a number of parameters you can change including the baseline level, which will determine intervals where the burst of the RMS EMG activity exceed the desired threshold, or the suppression time, which will ensure that the duration of active or inactive intervals will exceed the minimal suppression time, helping to remove short periods being classified as on or off. Select OK, and the calculation will run in the background, appearing in the data window when finished. Two separate outputs will appear for each muscle. One will include the RMS EMG data, and the other will display the onset and offset of each EMG burst. To view the data overlay, the threshold data will need to be rescaled. This can be achieved by right-clicking the baseline threshold output data, navigating to the calculation scripts, and choosing scale and offset from the available options. A parameter window will appear. Change the scale factor to an appropriate value from the y-axis of the RMS data and select Fixed as the scale type. Select OK and the calculation will run in the background appearing in the data window when finished. The rescaled threshold output can then be plotted, overlaid with the RMS data. To plot both data sets on the same graph, hold Control and left-click before right-clicking and selecting Plot Overlay. The colors and weight of the traces can be changed by right-clicking, selecting Properties, and adjusting the parameters in the Traces tab. For insight into co-activation or muscle coordination patterns, the threshold data from multiple muscles can be overlaid. Here, the data from the medial gastronemius and the tibialis anterior have been plotted to show the muscle coordination patterns that contribute towards ankle plantar flexion and dorsiflexion through the gait cycle. For further analysis, the data can be exported in a number of formats. For more information and assistance, please visit delsis.com support.
and be sure to connect with us on our socials.